The arc of an academic career report came about from a conversation I had with Shirley Malcolm of the AAAS, the American Association for the Advancement of Science. And the goal of this report was really to try to influence university leaders how to make the career of academics yet more productive and better from what? From entering into academics, from what happens during the time the person's in academics, which are many issues, tenure, questions of stopping out, and then what about the final years to make sure that we have product productivity as people come to, to a sunset part of their time as an academic. The importance of this report, our, the arc of an academic career, is of course not only to the academics and to the institution, but also to the country very much because we invest so much in higher education and we want to make sure we really use all the talent in the country the best way possible to train the next generation. You're asking me to try to tell you the recommendations of a, of a workshop that took place over two days. That's a bit of a daunting task to summarize very briefly. But let me say we want to find the special recipe, the secret sauce that allows academics, people to go into academics and really look forward to academics as being a rewarding way of spending their life. There are many challenges in, in the United States. One of the biggest challenges that's come about is the fact that we have taken off the cap on retirement. There's no biological age in the United States by which you must retire. What does this do to the system? How, how do we make it so it's attractive for young people to go into the system and they're not shut out? How do we take into account that people need to actually stop out both men and women, for, often for different reasons, but some of them are the same. Some involve taking care of sick parents or parenting itself. Others involve forming a company uh, and, and, and uh, really trying to take ideas from discovery to the marketplace. And finally, we come to the end. Should we have an end which is simply a sharp cliff that drops off or can we have something that tapers? How do we make those years rewarding? And we do want to have older people who are more experienced help younger people. All these are challenges and this is the type of things that we considered in this report.